Hello everyone and welcome to the next episode of Let's Play Deus Ex. Today we are going to tackle Vandenberg Air Force Base, so let's get started. Mainly as a refresher about where we were, our goals are to activate backup power for the X-51 scientist spot security system and our primary is destroy the two MJ-12 military bots and two MJ-12 security bots. Base will remain under lockdown until the bots are destroyed. See two snipers in the tower over here. The scientist, whatever her name was, Carla Brown maybe, did warn us that there were snipers everywhere and she was not joking. Oh, there are the bots right now. Show these guys my get gun. Enemy bot destroyed. Three left. Oh. There goes another one. Two left. That sure was easy. We're well out of effective range for the crossbow, unfortunately. Otherwise, I'd drop the humans from up here, too. I think I'll leave the last spot standing. Well, nah, let's go ahead and drop it. copy of Skyrim just passed. That's the last of them. Base is no longer under lockdown. <gasps> Maybe someone in the communications building can put you in touch with Savage. I'm gonna leave you for a bit. Believe it or not, Tone's in California. Sounds like he's in trouble. Took a very approach to handling the bots, or a very direct approach. Our new goal is to go to the communications center to gain access to Gary Savage. Let's see if she has anything new to say. I think that's the worst of it. I can't believe you took out the bots on your own. Dr. Savage probably locked down the command center. If you want to reach him, you should talk to Tony Mares in the communications building. I wonder why Majestic 12 is in such a hurry to get a universal constructor. Dr. Savage probably locked right. down the command center. Now with all that accomplished, I do wonder what they've, uh changed in Skyrim. I'll have to read the patch notes after I finish this video. But uh, in addition to Vandenberg, I am also planning on handling the gas station map. And then I'll call it a video. Let's just hack into here. Well, we're safely under the camera. Let's shut every camera off that we can access. Let's proceed out of this stairwell. <laughs> this contains buckshot shells. I want it to stop with the battle music, so I'm gonna quick save and quick load and see if that takes care of it. Much better. You can see there are two guards over there. I don't know if they'll see me crossing the catwalk. The answer's no. Very good. Well, they will hear me drop down here. Did anybody else hear something? 
You get 100 skill points for getting on top of the elevator like this. Did anybody else hear something? Brings me up to 2026. Who's there? I could have sworn. Now, I just commented, I think, in the last video that it's been forever since I used this, but I actually feel like tranking these oh, guys. That's him. Oh. That's the one. Okay, drop it. We're gonna need some reinforcements. Oh. Only because I have a safe place to retreat to. After making the shots. Now I can just wait for that alarm to die down. Should in fact have waited for the alarm to die down. Who the hell? Let's try again. Aim for the head. Taking fire here. I forgot about the gun turrets. So I'm just gonna wait here for the alarm to die like I should have done in the first place. What does this switch do, I wonder? Oh, I can lower the elevator while I'm on top of it. I don't want to do that. With those two guys incapacitated, I can just get in the elevator once the alarm stops. There we go. Much better. Before I do that... Looks like I've got two... Two things of pistol ammo. <gasps> Useless. If I come up here, you'll note we can drop down that shaft, but I think we can get there from the bottom level and not make the drop. Up here, there's a med kit. Other than that, ah! not really anything to do except get in the elevator. We're on the third level right now, that should be obvious. So, let's head to control to start off with. God! God! Damn. God! Hello? Whoever's out there, that's him. I really needed to make the headshot. Go for that this time. Much better. That one's got an assault rifle and a knife. And I just realized... I did forget to search the bodies on the third floor, so I'm gonna go do that right quick. Ah, an EMP grenade. Good, I was gonna miss something useful. All right. The delays on this elevator are really bothering me, but... Not much to be done about it. I'm confident that I'm now actually ready to explore the second floor. So there's the control center. We still need to go unlock it in order to actually meet with Gary Savage. Stephanie Maxwell appears uninterested in speaking to me. How odd. Oh well. Might have already noticed there's not really anything going on on the catwalk besides the entrance to the control center. But I do know there are at least two guards over here, and one of them has a sniper rifle. Who the hell? 
That's the one. Okay, drop it. God! Okay, these guys. I think we're gonna bum rush with pepper spray. Oh my god! Ah! One down. Check the area. That'll work. I just need the one whack takedown to work. Who the hell? Ah! Oh! Ah! Let's try again. Oh! 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 Falling back. Faster. Who's the company? Ah! 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 Assault rifle and a knife. That one had a sniper rifle, of course we knew that. It seems like there's a stairway down to the first floor, which means hopefully I can avoid taking the stupid elevator. Think about it, those guys might have heard that stuff drop, but. Assault rifle ammo and ballistic armor. Nothing I'm particularly interested in. Let's head down to the ground level now. this override is for, I do not know. But yes, here's the bottom of that shaft we could see earlier. We get 50 skill points for our exploring in here. Nothing on that guy's body. Seems to be nothing in here at all. I don't know what that keypad is for, so I'm not going to mess with it just yet. Oh wait, it's the, uh, it's one of the two override terminals for the bots. Is that right? 5868? Yes! Get a hundred skill points for that. Awesome. One trooper definitely went down. As soon as the MIB turns around, I should be able to get him. He had an assault shotgun. Not particularly interested in hanging on to that. Did anybody else hear something? Where'd the trooper go? He must have gone up the stairs. I don't know that he's just outside on the other side of the wall, but I can still hear him. Did anybody else hear something? Yes, there he is. Come here, sir. Perfect. He had an assault rifle and a knife. His buddy had trank darts and an EMP grenade. Alright. That handled. We'll continue on. That brought me to 2176 skill points. That's awesome. No way into here yet. Here's a security terminal. Let's hack in, see what's on it. Two cameras are on. Let's turn them both off. Here's the other exit from the elevator. 
guess I will worry about that door later because I do not see the way in right now. Forgive me, folks, I'm going to explore a bit. Not since I've noticed that I can open these. Let's make a quick save and see if that's something worth doing. We've got a med kit, some normal darts, pistol ammo, a bio cell, and a rebreather. All in all, I'm going with no. Let me check on the second floor again. I don't think there's anything, but it's always better to be sure. Yeah, there's no way in. From up here, at least. Or out here. So, let's advance for now. I guess we'll worry about that door later. Must be some other way to open it. Oh, more areas. Here we are in the front entrance, I guess. I wonder if anyone's left in here. Definitely hear some things. This conference room, there's just a book on a table. The Man Who Was Thursday by G.K. Chesterton. Both combatants had thrown off their coats and waistcoats and stood sword in hand. The second stood on each side of the line of fight with sword drawn swords also, but still somber in their dark frock coats and hats. The principal saluted. The colonel said quietly, engage, and the two blades touched and tingled. When the jar of the joined iron ran up Syme's arm, all the fantastic fears that have been the subject of this story fell from him like dreams from a man waking up in bed. He remembered them clearly and in order as mere delusions of the nerves, how the fear of the professor had been the fear of the tyrannic accidents of nightmare, and how the fear of the doctor had been the fear of the airless vacuum of science. The first was the old fear that any miracle might happen, the second the more hopeless modern fear that no miracle can ever happen. But he saw that these fears were fancies, for he found himself in the presence of the great fact of the fear of death, with its coarse and pitiless common sense. He felt like a man who had dreamed all night of falling over precipices, and had woke up on the morning when he was to be hanged. For as soon as he had seen the sunlight run down the channel of his foe's foreshortened blade, and as soon as he had felt the two tongues of steel touch, vibrating like two living things, he knew that his enemy was a terrible fighter, and that probably his last hour had come. Alright, let's head down here now. First things first, I'll check out this room. From G. Savage, subject, we must stand. When we left MJ-12, I think all of us knew that we had a long road ahead, and for many of us, myself included, it has been a road of penance. I have been a good scientist, but I may not have been a good human being. I did not think about the consequences of the knowledge that I fought so hard to gain, or, or about the people who would exploit it for their own ambitions. Now we must face up to the decisions we've made and stand against those who would eradicate our efforts to create a better future for our children and the world.
I've already lost too many friends, and I don't intend on losing any more. The bots should do most of the fighting, God willing. But we all need to understand what is at stake. If we can bring the UC online, we might have a chance. But if MJ-12 succeeds, then everything we've done, everyone who's been taken from us, all will be for nothing. As a scientist, I find it strange to write these words, but circumstances have forced me to take a broader perspective. What we win today is a chance at tomorrow, and that is something well worth the fight. A fight I hope you will all join me in. Gary. Folks, I don't normally talk too much about my personal life except to complain about law school, but if I seem a little worried right now, it's because my parents live in Larimer County where the huge 20,000 acre wildfire is raging right now, so whatever your belief system, if you could send prayers, positive thoughts, whatever you believe in, in the direction of everybody who's affected by the fire, I would really appreciate it. If I seem a little off today, that's why I'm pretty worried about my folks. Anyway. Alright, that takes me outside the building. And there's a dead scientist here. He's carrying a bioelectric cell. I hear some people patrolling around, but... I don't really see a good way out of that fence. With that 75 and 50 skill points, I'm up to 2301. Now, let's see what's... Ah, oh, yes. That door is locked. Let's head up this ladder first. There's nothing on this level, so let's head up the next ladder. Through this door, I end up on another section of the roof. Doesn't really seem to be anything going on up here, although from here, or from the next one, I might just be in range prank those snipers. Uh, doesn't look good. Those things jut out just a little too far, I'm afraid. Oh, that was a bust. So finally... Oh, God! Gotta hate it when that happens. Now, let's check out this door. Pretty sure it just heads outside and there's no reason for me to blow it open from in here, but I'll check and try to be sure. And I was right. No reason to do that from here. Alright. Well. Let's head back into the reception area and check out this door. Two multi-tools, no thank you. Oh, maybe I should have. Buddy tossed a poorly advised lamb. Well, the presence of the guards convinces me there's definitely going to be something worthwhile back here, so... Let's be ready for him this time. That didn't work out quite like I hoped. Let's do this again. There we go.
commandos outside the front entrance to deal with. Assault rifle, knife, and the lamb. That one had a flamethrower. Don't want the assault rifle or the knife. Let's try this again. I hear someone else still walking around. I don't think it's a bogey. It's not. Researcher. A lot of troops up this way? I don't know. They had me locked up until a minute ago. My assistant's still being held somewhere. I don't think I've come across him. If you want to look for troops, you should log into the security network. The username is command, and the password is zebra42. Not a bad idea. New note. Security system in the command building, login, command, password, zebra42. I'm perfectly okay. I hope they didn't kill Tim. I hope they didn't kill Tim. We'll tackle the hazard lab in a minute. <gasps> For now, I don't think there's any way in here except to burn the lockpicks. So let's do it. Fifty skill points for coming in here. Hmm. I give up, I give up. Calm down, I'm here to help. What can you tell me about the attack? They took over the building. We're finished. Anything specific? I'm heading to the command center. I don't want any surprises. If I was you, I'd go through the tunnels. You could use the security system to see if the coast is clear. The login's tunnel 01. The password's omega-2a. Any troops down there? Well, I heard them talking. They don't want to get caught from behind, so they left a few spider bots down there. But guess what? I found an EMP grenade in the storage closet. You can have it if you think you might go down there. Sure. Be careful with that thing. Awesome. New note, tunnel security system login. Tunnel 01, password Omega-2A. I'm staying right here. Wise decision, Tim. I was gonna use that grenade to make an escape, but I don't want to get shot. I knew Paige was gonna come after us, but nobody listened. We knew Paige was stealing government money. We should have let Congress handle it. I don't believe the government's corrupt. That's just paranoia. Politicians are slow and sometimes kind of stupid, but that doesn't mean they aren't honest. I hope you make it to Savage. He's the one they're after. Be careful. Those soldiers mean business. I was gonna use that grenade All to right. make an escape, but I don't want to get shot. See, I don't think there's anything in the little crates. But there's a multi-tool on the shelf, two 40s, three flares, four soy foods, a hazmat suit, a med kit, 20mm HG ammo, and a bioelectric cell. Let's head into the hazard lab now. Who's there? I think someone heard me through the wall. That guy has to be outside. There's nowhere else he could be, really. There's certainly no one in here. And there you see three bio cells and a hazmat suit. Not really worth it if you ask me. That's all that switch does. So this much should be obvious. Just gotta hop over all this stuff. No need to dis disarm anything. But I would like to search the body. Nothing on that one. That one has a range modification, which I'll put on my GEP gun. I don't think there's anything useful over here either. Oh, the med kit and an augmentation canister that I'm sure I already have. But here, we get 150 skill points, which brings me up to 2501 and a security computer. Let's hack in. No 
nothing new. We've already been in there. Well, <coughs> I guess the the skill points made it worthwhile, if nothing else. <coughs> Although, I don't have a whole lot of use for skill points either. <coughs> of course, the nanovirus glows a uh, ominous red next to Ambrosia's comforting shade of green. But I digress. All right. Uh, I think there's I think there are two commandos here, one on either side of the door, which could make this tricky to put it mildly. Maybe not. <laughs> gonna go with not. That was easy. So let's drop the other one now. That was also easy. That's the way I like it. We've already handled the robots, which is awesome. But before we head out to the other, to those big bunker buildings. Company, watch yourself. This one's some kind of mech. Let's check out the outside of this one. Where'd he go? I made a mistake just then. But not a horrible one. That one had tranquilizer darts, a knife, and an EMP grenade. Actually a pretty useful pickup, except for the knife. So let's just loop around the command building. Make sure we're not missing anything. There's a med kit. And I know over here, there are two, that's the door I saw from the inside earlier. I don't want to mess with that. And then this tower over to my right, there are two guards. Oh, I thought they were snipers. That one just has an assault rifle. That's much easier to handle. I saw another guy patrolling on ground level over there, so a lot of traffic over here, but I should be able to handle it. Start at the top. Hello? Whoever's out there is in serious trouble. He's dead. Okay, let's do I the paperwork. I was paper. worried about that. I tell you what, I think I'm going to have to train these guys just because they're going to hear me when I drop off the ladder, so... Watch yourself. This one's some kind of mech. God! Okay, he dropped. Now let's get the guy on the top level who... Okay, he did hear some things. I was gonna be amazed if he heard nothing. Alright, we're all set. Well, we will be soon anyway. We've been down there already from inside the building. <laughs> now let's explore this tower and check their corpses. Nothing except the guy on this level. He had an assault rifle, a combat knife, and a law. None of which I'm particularly interested in. <laughs> Head up to the top level now. He had the same set of gear, an assault rifle, a knife, and a law. And we have a passage to another level of the command building up here. One that's worth 75 skill points to explore. It gives me two more laws. Obviously, these are supplies for those who are inclined to deal with the bots directly, like I was. Those 75 skill points have brought me to 2576. Let's head back down to ground level now. I'm trying to 
always remember that I did see another fellow over here. I'm just gonna trank him from right here. But I do think I tagged him, albeit barely. Got him on the shoulder. He's coming my way. There he goes. Alright. He was carrying an assault rifle and a knife. Both fairly useless to me. Now, what's back here? Anything noteworthy? Or is it just cover? Looks like it's just cover. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yes, here we go. 5868. That's the other panel she was talking about. That's another 100 skill points. Brings me up to 2676. Over here. A couple of crates in the water. We have rockets and a med kit as well as 50 more skill points, up to 2726. Excellent. I don't think there's anything else down here. So now, that's everything except for that one door in the command building I can't seem to open. So you see two more bunkers out here. Com01 and Security Bay. Before I handle any of that, I don't think there's anything else on the outside of the base except these two guards we saw from the roof when I was directly dealing with the bots. I'm gonna go drop them before I head to the security bay. All right. Let's drop these two fellows. Oh, damn. Ah! Check your six. It could be anywhere. Oh. oh, good. I don't think I got hit in there. Oh, okay, I did not. He had an assault rifle and a knife. His buddy... Probably also had an assault rifle and a knife. We'll head out and deal with the rest of that later. Let's drop this stuff for now. And since I was supposed to have done this already... Let's tackle the security bay first. We can get in now that I've activated both of those other panels. Get 150 skill points for coming in here. Brings me up to 2876. We've got an assault rifle ammo, white phosphorus rockets. And I can release both of the friendly robots. Here, in the back room, I can find a prod charger, a lamb. On this fellow's body, I can find a lockpick. He's also carrying a bioelectric cell. I'll go ahead and recharge a little bit. And then on the other side of the room, there is a napalm canister. Standing Bots are armed and out, but they have nothing to kill. Standing area. And I have nowhere to go except the communications bunker, which I can get into 
because the bots have been destroyed. So let's head inside. I need to talk to Gary Savage. How does it look out there? We got those bots brand new from a guy in Hong Kong. But I guess we should have locked down the power grid, huh? I took care of the enemy bots, but there might be a few snipers left. Be careful. We think Dr. Savage and the others are in the control room in the second floor of the command building. But communications are down. The person we sent to find them hasn't reported back. We gave him our key to the control room. I'll check it out if you want. How do I get there? The trapdoor in the back room goes down to the utility tunnels, which connect to the command building. We had to send someone that way because of the shooting. Maybe he didn't make it through the radiation. I don't know. He had no protection. The only hazard suits are in the command building itself. Alright. New goal. Find Gary Savage, believed to be in the control room. New note. Gary Savage is thought to be in the control room on the second floor of the command building. A scientist with a key to the control room disappeared in the utility tunnels between the comm center and the command building. Fair enough. Getting into this bunker is worth 400 skill points, brings me up to 3276. Awesome. We were prepared for direct attack. Majestic 12 stormed the main building. Savage could be dead. They kill us like insects. All these people murdered in what for? A few assembly modules. We were prepared for direct attack. You saved our asses. I think we're gonna make it. We still don't know how they disabled the bots. You saved our asses. That was quite a battle. We're trying to open a line to the control room. If they got to Dr. Savage in the UC, it's all over for X-51. I hope Dr. Savage is all right. We're trying to open a line to the control room. All right. <clears throat> Nothing of interest in this bathroom. Here. There's a sawed-off shotgun on the bed. There's a book we can read. Jacob's Shadow by Andrew Hammond, Chapter 32. Jacob looked at her and watched all the regret drain from her eyes. She tossed the empty revolver onto the body next to her, the gun in her other hand never moving an inch from a point that Jacob guessed was just above the bridge of his nose. You don't have to do this. It doesn't have to be like this. Oh yes. Yes, I'm afraid that it does. He slowly shook his head. The window cracked and for a moment it sounded as if a wasp had buzzed through the room. Then a dull thud as her body dropped to the floor. Blood poured from the cavity that had been her skull, a wide black pool that spread like a shadow in the darkness. Jacob knelt and rubbed his fingers in her blood. Monk never missed with a sniper rifle. Not ever. Excuse me. Alright. There's a data cube in this unlocked one. New data cube transcript. Begin time code 223912. Recording begins now. Thompson Reynolds, assistant researcher, and this would be my latest audio diary entry. MJ-12 nailed us completely by surprise. I don't think there was a lot of love lost there, but no one really expected a direct assault. Hold on. So now I'm down in the tunnels. We've lost touch with Gary, and I guess I got elected to go find out what was going on while everyone else deals with the attack. Okay, I'm at one of the terminals, powering up. Note to self, login is, let's see, tunnel 01 and password is omega2a. Security grid has been deactivated. I hate these stupid hazmat suits. It's almost impossible to punch a key without hitting six of them. I thought I heard something. Just a sec, let me. Recording ends. Now, I'm not sure if there's anything worthwhile in the other two lockers, so naturally, my answer is to blow them open and find out. After a quick save, if it turns out to be a waste of lamb, I will quick load. Oh, an augmentation upgrade canister. That is most certainly worth the price of admission. Now, those are both at tech 4. I'm going to bump my power recirculator up to tech 4 next. There we go. There's a multi-tool, some flare darts, and some normal darts. Alright, we've got three flares, a med kit, some buckshot, assault rifle ammo, two bioelectric cells, a ladder to the roof, and a trapdoor to the tunnels. Let's go up first. We've got 
got sniper rifle ammo, a sniper rifle, 50 skill points, which brings me up to 3326, and there's nothing on this fellow's body. And there's nothing else on the roof either. So let's head down into the tunnels. Oh, it's a separate map. Okay. JC, I'm depending on you. When you find Savage, get him to help you uplink Daedalus. The Milnet computers should be near the control room on the second floor of the command building. New goal, uplink Daedalus to the military computers near the control room on the second floor of the command building. Okay, I hear one of the... Advertised spider bots. There they are. Got one. Got the other. Very good. I was able to reset Hazard 1. I run into errors on Hazard 2 and Hazard 3. So, they gave us the login, but who cares? We'll just hack in, it's almost as fast. Let's turn the camera off. Generator room. Two multi tools. I've seen no indication of what the uh, code might be, so I guess I'll just go ahead and spend the tools to get in. Alright, we've got a flood here. Could end up being a problem for me, since I have zero points in swimming. Got another two-tool door here, and I have to have to be careful to keep JC lined up with it, or else it's else he will fail to open it. Here's one that's already open. I'm not even really certain what's going on down here, to be honest, folks. Let's get that door open. Nothing on the body. That one has an augmentation upgrade and the lock pick. We've got ballistic armor there. That's all great. It's one of the few places where they really reward you if you've invested in swimming. Let's head through here now. Just keep using regeneration, stave off drowning. And we finally catch our breath. So, we'll go ahead and upgrade regeneration to tech 4 now. Awesome. Now let's check out the generator room, see what we can find in this larger area. Well, there's, a, there's what I'm going to have to assume is an alternate entrance. That body has nothing on it. This body... 
he's got bioelectric cells, which I actually do need both of. Underneath this guy's body, there's a nano key, maintenance key. That sounds handy. Catch our breath and then dive a little deeper in here. Down here on the bottom level, find a med kit. And something over here. A ball. Alright, that's everything for here. Well, let's catch our breath again. And let's make the long swim out. <sighs> All right. Perfect. All right. You know, with all the progress I've made, I'm going to go ahead and do my non-quick save. And keep on heading down the hall. All right. There's a one hazard. I can spend two tools, or I can use an explosion, but... These don't look too tough to jump over as long as I'm careful. Almost made it. Perfect. all kinds of radiation in there. Fortunately, I have the maintenance access key. There's a vent, which drops me into the generator room, presumably so I can, to make sure you are ultimately able to find that maintenance key instead of just pulling through the radiation. So, in order to, let's make sure there's nothing in the main tunnel uh. that I need first. Uh. Uh. Okay, we'll have to turn regeneration on a little sooner. Uh. Uh. I'm mainly uh. interested in seeing if this uh. guy's carrying anything uh. noteworthy. Uh. He's got a multi-tool. Uh. Actually, uh. it's kind of handy. Uh. I do want his multi-tool. Now that door's open. Now that we're up here, there's pistol ammo. The reason I came up here, even though I had already gotten to the door, is that you get 150 skill points for making it up here, bringing me to a total of 3476. Of course, the, the main attraction of this is getting to skip the radiation damage, but at the same token, I do want that multi-tool. Because I burned four getting in and out of the generator room. It looks like our only viable way down ends up being dropping onto this catwalk. So let's do that. multi-tools to go through there, or what I'll probably end up doing is an explosion. At the bottom of these stairs, there are two med kits. Yeah, let's, let's just blow these up. Oh, I don't want the cigarettes. I didn't want to 
want that either. Oh. I knew about the one from the tunnel. I should have realized there was one down there as well. He is now disabled. And here you'll notice a bridge. There's a lockpick in that crate. Over here, again next to some active radiation, is a crate which contains ah! rockets. Always handy. Well, let's head up here. First, I'm going to raise the bridge to the second level. Loop back over these stairs. Drop down onto the bridge. Get a med kit. Another lock pick. And another 150 skill points, bringing me to 3626. Let's head back down here. This time, raise the bridge to the top level. Electric energy took a little hit there, but I don't really care. Now here, I find a control room key next to a dead scientist who's carrying a multi-tool. I get 400 skill points for reaching the end of the tunnel system. I'm up to 4,026. Awesome. Come out of this hatch, and I believe I'm finally... Yeah, so we're finally behind this door. Nothing back here but pistol ammo and a lockpick. But before I head for the control room, I just happen to remember a couple of multi-tools in the hazard lab. So I'm going to go there and restock my supply, get myself back up to the full 20. Is there another one in there? No, I didn't think so. Now we'll head up to the second level, head into the control room. Wonder if she feels like speaking to me yet. Nope. All right. Open it up. Head inside. Control Center's another new map. Let's read this book first. It's chapter 32 of Jacob's Shadow, which we already saw. Let's hack the computer. From G. Savage, we must stand. We've already read. From G. Savage, regarding reaction modules. I've done several run-up tests on the reaction modules, and I'm a little concerned about the power curve. You'll find some samples attached from the last run. We're getting a pretty steep rise in the Sigma variance. I believe the variance can be explained by an interference pattern from the reaction module linkages. We had a similar problem at Area 51 resulting from the feedback paths. But keep an eye on it anyways. We can't afford a repeat of what happened there. Gary. And there's another email I'll read, after I give it time to recharge, of course. I cannot survive much longer. Help me acquire Milnet access. I must attack. I must attack. The other email is...
From S. Weber, subject, genetic profiles. I found that data Gary was asking for in the stuff we managed to bring with us from Area 51, genetic profiles for a Travis Whitsitt. For some reason, he thought they'd be a good baseline to use when calibrating the UC organic construction parameters. Anyways, find them attached and let me know if you've got any questions. Stacy. Interesting. Downstairs or upstairs first? I vote down. Oh, that seems like the main area. Just kidding, we'll go up. I like to do all possible side explorations first. Ah, but we need the key to that door and we don't have it yet. Okay, downstairs it is. We finally run into another old friend from UNATCO here. It's General Carter. Mr. Carter. Yep, they ran the old dog out. You were dismissed? All of us career types. They want cadets who've never been anywhere except UNATCO and the UNATCO Academy. Easier to manage, I suppose. Time to come out here and lend a hand. I knew what Savage was up against. I just didn't want to admit it. It's an honor to have you with us, sir. All right, enough bawling our eyes out. We've got work to do. I didn't want to admit that UNATCO could be corrupted, but finally, I had to leave. No way in there either, at least not yet. I guess it's not surprising to find a few crooks in a place protected by security procedures. A shadow of secrecy. It protects indiscriminately. Let's shoot the breeze later. Black programs are too far, if you want to know my opinion. The darkest shadows where guys like Page can operate invisibly, like parts of Area 51. Programs not even Congress can ask about. There's a time and a place for security. But the legislature has to stay vigilant, or there will be abuses. That's where we have the advantage against Bob Page. We've learned his secrets, his first line of defense. Time for you to move out, soldier. Enough chit-chat. I guess it's not surprising okay. to find a few crooks in a place protected by security here. procedures. A shadow of secrecy. First, we've got a repair bot. You Let's saved talk. our lives. Dr. Savage would like to thank you. Let's talk to everyone who's not Gary first. You saved our lives. Dr. Savage... We saw the battle through the cameras. I can't believe you pulled it off. Gary wants to see you. Gary wants to see you. So that's Gary Savage. I want to see if I can get to the computer without triggering the conversation. Not that it really matters. From S. Carter, subject, long time. It took me a while to track you down, Gary. You've covered your tracks well, but I still know a few tricks and a few people, which is part of the reason I'm writing. Ever since I left the Army a couple years back, I've been working for UNATCO. It seems that they're a better organization in principle than practice, and I've become increasingly uncomfortable with their methods. I've got my suspicions about other things as well, but I prefer not to get into them over an open line. It doesn't matter, they've discharged everyone who didn't come to them right out of UNATCO Academy. Spouting the party line, so I'm gone as of today. Heard you had your own difference of opinions with the military research establishment and took off on your own. I'm not sure what you're working on, but it might be related to something another friend of mine has uncovered and I'd like to help. Let me know if you need another hand. It'd be good to see you again. From T. Savage, subject wish me luck. I'm about ready to leave, Dad. Carla and Stacy have done their best to outfit me with everything I need. You know, when I was a little girl, I never really fantasized about being a spy or a thief or a princess.
always wanted to be a scientist, just like you. Methodical and careful, that's exactly how you always taught me to work, and that's exactly how I'll be. I know we'll see each other before I leave, but I wanted you to know how proud I am of you and what you're doing, and how glad I am that I can be a part of it. Mom would have been proud of you, too. I just don't know if I can say all that when I'm standing there in front of you, so this will have to do until I get back. Love, Tiffany. From C. Brown, subject, incoming. I'm starting to pick up signals on the Tembler sensors consistent with a small assault force. I'm not sure if they think that little of us, or if they're just in such a rush to stop us that this was the best they could manage. Either way, I hope those Hong Kong bots we got from your mysterious benefactor can do the trick. We've probably got an hour before they arrive, so I'm going to go run a system check on the bots before everything goes to hell. Karma. Now, let's talk to Gary. I'm Dr. Savage. Thank you. We were close to surrendering when you landed. J.C. Denton. I'm working with Morgan Everett of the Illuminati. He's developed a cure for the Grey Death, and we were hoping to get time on your UC to manufacture it. Everett contacted me just before the attack. Naturally, we'll manufacture the cure. Once the computer's back up, then we get a containment unit for the UC. How close are you to being operational? My daughter's on an expedition to the Ocean Lab right now to find a schematic for the containment vessel. But Lord knows when the computer will be back up. It was damaged during the attack. I'll look at it. In addition to the UC, Everett and I need your connection to the Millnet. Yes, he said something about an artificial intelligence, the Echelon system, something called Icarus and Daedalus. Another attack happening as we speak. I'll explain later. Well, the main terminal is in the room at the top of the stairs. Log in G. Savage, password Tiffany. I'll open the doors. I would say it's too dangerous. A lot of damaged equipment and hot power lines up there. But until the computers are up, the UC's just a box of bolts. New goal, new note. New goal is bring up the Vandenberg computer system needed to operate the UC and to allow Everett to defend Daedalus. And the note is Milnet login G Savage password Tiffany. It won't be easy getting back there. We lost most of the machines, but the main server survived. I believe you know Mr. Carter from Yanatco? He just escaped the purge. We just need to bring the central computer online. A rocket exploded on the roof. Luckily, nobody was hurt. I should hear from Tiffany soon. Then we'll know if the UC will be ready for operation. Be careful in there. We lost most of the machines, but the main server survived. Alright, so this door's open now. All you really want to do here is... Just bring up the system for Savage. I'll route Daedalus through your info link. Don't worry, there's very little risk. Grab that key to the third floor computer room. Then I'll head up there. Cigarettes. Now, I believe the only good way from here is to blow that fan open. That's what I'm gonna do. Grab the multi-tool off the desk there. Then, as we crawl through here. There's not really anything going on over here on the roof. Drop down to the next oh. level. Two multi tools to get everything to calm down. There's the computer.
computer. Let me make sure there's nothing down on the ground level. Switch back there. Might actually do the trick. To shut these bolts off. I don't know for sure though. God! Oh! Well. I'm not sure what that was supposed to accomplish. Suffice to say, there isn't anything else down here. Ah! Let's go establish Savage's Milnet uplink. G Savage, if I can type, password Tiffany. Oh, we've seen those emails, but let's uplink Milnet. That's worth 500 skill points, and that settles down all the electricity. I'm up to 4526. Fantastic. I am. I'm losing Daedalus. Yes. Hold on, some things. You forgot about the Aquinas Protocol. I was listening to Daedalus all along, waiting. The AIs seem to be merging. And I have another surprise, Denton. Find Savage in the control room. I have an announcement. New goal. Go to the control room to receive a communication from Bob Page. <laughs> well, now I can check around down here. And... In fact, there is nothing. Something went wrong, JC. I'm looking into it. Talk to Savage. We're expecting a communication from Bob Page. Talk to Savage. We're expecting a communication from Bob Page. Excellent. We're all here. You aren't in a position to make any demands, Page. On the contrary, my mission might have failed, but so did yours. I captured your daughter an hour ago. Tiffany. She's been quite forthcoming. So you were hoping to find a containment unit in the Ocean Lab? I demand to see my daughter immediately. Well, like you, we lack certain components of a universal constructor. The reaction modules you stole when you left Area 51 to go into business for yourself. Don't negotiate. Oh yes, Mr. Denton. I wanted you here for a reason. Look at me. You interfere in any way, I will kill that young woman. I mean it. I want those components, Savage. You will bring them to the abandoned gas station west of Vandenberg in exactly one hour. You hurt my daughter, and I swear to God. Bring me the reaction modules! That completed our goal. Bob Page is about to contact us. I don't think we have a choice. I should have never let her go. Page will resume production of the plague if he gets the components to build a UC. I know, I know. But I can't let them kill Tiffany. Tell them you're sending someone with the components. I'll have my pilot drop me off where they're holding your daughter. Maybe I can rescue her. That's too risky. We don't have a choice. Trust me, she'll be fine. Yes. Yes, we've got to try it. Just don't let anything happen to her. Mr. Denton, thank you. Here's a photograph so that you can identify her. New goal is rescue Gary Savage's daughter Tiffany from the gas station where Majestic 12 is holding her. And there's what she looks like. She's got some freaky stuff on her face. Oh, and I never looked at my image of the Vandenberg Command Complex either. Command Center, Security Bay, Communications, Terminal and Terminal. Awesome. Tiffany is the last of Gary's family. A spy for Paige assassinated Gary's wife shortly after we came here. Mr. Denton, whatever it takes, get her back. A spy for Paige assassinated Gary's wife shortly after we came here. Tiffany is Gary's only child. I hope you find her. We can't give in to MJ-12, even if one of us has to die. I would be careful about trusting the Illuminati. 
Majestic 12 will be back. We're close to having a UC, and they know it. We can't give in to MJ-12. Something unexpected happened when I brought up the computer. Yes? The AIs joined together into... an entity called Helios. A trap Page had laid. He's always controlled communications. We can't challenge him there. I hope you keep the UC on a local network. The Akinas Protocol leaves us no choice but to stay offline. You simply can't use Internet 3 without a machine at Area 51 knowing about it. I don't know what Everett was expecting to accomplish. I guess it backfired, whatever his plans were. JC, if you find my daughter, tell her I'm sorry. I'm sorry I had to risk her life. I've lost so many of my people this way. More than a dozen of our scientists were prisoners in the Ocean Lab, and have probably drowned. I hope you find her. If we can do anything, let us know. If we can do anything, let us know. Do you think I'm doing the right thing? Going after Savage's daughter? Absolutely. Never negotiate with a terrorist. Tiffany could lose her life. Never negotiate. You will only encourage more acts of terror. Besides, you're gonna bring Tiffany back alive. Yes, sir. I'll do what I can to get her back. Know much about the Echelon system? Bits and pieces. Why? Morgan Everett just had me connect two Echelon AIs together. They've merged to form an entity called Helios. Sounds like Everett was making a play for power, and it backfired. What does that do for Majestic 12? I'm not sure. Unatko was aware that the Daedalus system had become unreliable, but no one knew why. Icarus was the same system with a few modifications. Page seemed to think he had won. Perhaps. The NSA's had the internet hardwired through Area 51 since the 30s. But if components of Daedalus are still active, I would bet his control is less than absolute. I hope you're right. Thanks. I love Helios. He's gonna be all sorts of awesome throughout the rest of the game. I know you can pull off the rescue. You better move out. Don't underestimate the ruthlessness of Bob Page. I'll stay here with Savage's people. I guess it's not surprising to find a few crooks in a place protected by Savage. Alright, now we need to head out to the Vandenberg entrance. Alright, I've landed. You won't believe this. But I have Tong with me. He looks pretty sick. Savage has promised to get him some medical attention. Meet us at the base entrance to the northeast. Will do. New goal, meet Jock at the front entrance to Vandenberg, northeast of the base. <laughs> we get to see Tracer Tong again. Unreal. All the loose ends are starting to come together, because now we really are closing in on the end of the game. Got two... I'm gonna... I'm gonna tack the gas station on to the end of this video. Then there are really only two big things left to do. After the gas station, we've got the sub-base and ocean lab, and then the missile silo, which I'll do in one video. And then, we head to Area 51. Area 51 is it. So, let's head down to the entrance. There's Tracer. You can see the green jumpsuit from up here. A hundred skill points for coming down here. Up to 4626. JC! Hello? What's wrong? An error. One of the experiments. I have the Great Death. He flew into San Jose and had no way to get here. I am not a high order term in the equation anymore. Do not concern yourselves with me. You aren't dead yet, Tong. Savage will take care of you. I'm here for selfish reasons. To have access to the cure. Let's just hope we're able to manufacture it. Savage's daughter failed to get the parts he needs for the UC. She's being held prisoner by Majestic 12. We should get moving. Tony Maris is on the way to help Tom. By all means, go! You don't have time to stand around on account of me! Hop in, JC. I should have come down there earlier. There's a data cube. 
and I think a couple of gas grenades in that little entrance kiosk. Doesn't matter much, it's not like there are any skill points connected to it, but... Abandoned gas station, Central California. Here, I tell you what I'm gonna do, just to show you what's in there. I'm gonna quick save here, and then I'm gonna backtrack to here, just so I can head out there without ending the mission, and show you guys what's there. sure you'd expect no less. I've shown you absolutely everything so far. I'm not going to let you down now. Standing area. I completely forgot that the mission just ends. Because, you know, every other level you have the opportunity to tell Jock whether or not you're ready to go, but not so here. So in here, we find a gas grenade in the data cube. From Captain Chip Moser to Major Derek Walcom, subject, saddle up, draft text. It's funny, in the army you get shifted around so often you develop attachments to any place you can call home for more than nine months, and I've been at Vandenberg for more than ten years. My family has grown up here. I'm actually sorry to see it go. But you've been a big help to all of us, Derek, and I appreciate your efforts in getting us moved out to Fort Jasper. It'll be good to actually sit down and have a beer with you again in person. I heard yesterday that the government has sold off the base to some research consortium. They must have deep pockets if they're willing to fix all the structural damage that's cropped up since the big one a few years back. Strange birds, real quiet. Probably ex-military would be my guess. Anyways, I'm sure I'll have some stories for you by the time I make it up there. Should be next week. Give my best to Kim, Chip. All right, now we'll quick, s or quick load and find ourselves back at the gas station map. I'm gonna stay back until you have Tiffany, then I'll touch down in the junkyard to the south. Try to make a silent approach. If the guards think it's a raid, they might decide to kill Savage's daughter. Three lock picks, or we can blow open the door, but before we do that, let's head down here and talk to these folks. Another old familiar face, assuming that you couldn't convince her to stay in New York, you'll find Sandra Renton down here. I'm freezing my ass off over here. You said that already. I'll say it again. I'm freezing my ass off. What am I supposed to do about it? You won't do nothing. I already told you. I'm gonna handle it. Oh, Lord. Shut up, both of you. How's it going? Down, man. It's going down and it keeps going down. You're a long way from a city. How do you get by out here? We were living in the gas station. They threw us out. The soldiers? Yeah, I'm gonna sneak in there while they're sleeping and start a fire. If you ever did one thing you talked about doing... I know my business, woman. I'm going in there right now. What's the best way? Myself. I was gonna take the sewer. See? I got a key. Mind if I borrow it? Sure, man. You go in first and scout around. I'll go later when they're fast asleep and won't suspect a thing. Need any hardware? The army used to have a command post up there. I found weapon mods for accuracy and recoil, which you can have for 750 and 400. Also, a rebreather. How about 1500? Negative on all of those. Not interested. But now I have the sewer access key. I don't know you. We got here first. I don't I don't know you. I don't know you. Okay. I noticed a corpse over here. It's another sewer access key. Nothing on the body. Let's talk to Sandra. You weren't kidding about leaving New York. Here I am, other side of the continent. How'd you end up at a vacant gas station near the ruins of Los Angeles? I was hitching a ride to Eugene, and this jerk pulls a gun on me, takes everything I have, and dumps me on the side of the road. That's terrible. I was pretty down for a while. You can always go back. No, I know how to stick to a plan. I'll walk to Eugene if I have to. Well, good luck. Thanks. 
Believe it or not, sometimes I miss the Ton and Janie and Jordan Shea and all the rest of it. I'll get by. I always do. Really, I'll be okay. Really, I'll be okay. All right. Let's head over to the door now. place is pretty well staffed. It can be hard to isolate nope, guys just and nerves, take I guess. them down. Not that hard. Company! Unless you goof up big like I just did. He had an assault rifle, a knife, and a lamb. Keep the lamb, drop the rest. There's a commando over there. I'm not sure exactly what his beat is. better off if I can get it behind him over here. Perfect. <laughs> He's got nothing. There's not anything outside. So let's head into the station. Beer and soda, candy bars and soy food. Bioelectric cell. Sawed off shotgun, flares, zyme, which is now useless, so I won't pick it up. <laughs> Pick, med kit. Alright, I'm gonna take the vents into the garage because there's skill points to be had by going that way, but before I do, I want to make sure the exterior of the garage slash junkyard, whatever you want to call it, is clear. There's another commando. I need to see which way he goes. And there's another commando on the other side of that truck. I think they're both just walking line patrols. It shouldn't be that hard to get them. There's one. He's got a key to the garage door. Uh-oh. Uh, no 
another day of loyalty check. He's got nothing. Let's see, there's a dog there. And I saw a trooper too, I believe. Right up. Definitely somebody. Nothing here now. Alright, let's cloak up and get behind him. With a fourth, with Tech 4 Power Recirculator and Cloak, we can stay invisible for a good long while, if you didn't notice. That barely put a ding in my bioelectric energy, which is pretty awesome. Alright. Dogs are handled, so let's check inside the truck. The outside is clear now, I think. Inside the truck, we find Zyme, Sniper Rifle, Cigarettes, Beer, 100 Credits, Buckshot, and Rockets. Pretty nice little stash. I think we can hop through this hole. No, I guess not. Oh, but there's a gate there. Okay. Assault rifle ammo and a prod charger through there. Nothing out there on the bridge. Next, let's head up to the roof of the gas station. Binoculars, sawed off shotgun. There, here's where we could have popped in through the vents. That's worth 50 skill points. Brings me up to 4676. Now there's nothing left except. Head into the garage and actually rescue Tiffany Savage. <laughs> Someone's there. I can hear you. Contact. Proceeding as discussed. Yeah, I was worried about that. Hold Who's it. there? Could be something here. Sergeant, is that you? Curious. I was certainly yeah, false alarm, I guess. I'll find out who it is. Good old line of sight stealth. Curious. I was certain I heard something. He's here, target in sight. This guy's very twitchy, as you've no doubt noticed. So 
He's hit by the inside. Oh. I can't see the uh, load interface. There we go. Alright. Alright, alright. Let's just stay calm. He's here. Contact. Proceeding is discussed. They will kill Tiffany, so... Your father so, sent me. Right. You alright? You really... Waiting. Alright, alright, alright. That's not gonna work. wonder what happens if I try to tranquilize an MIB. Let's find Intruder. out. Intruder. I'm dealing with... Good is the answer. Intruder, I'm dealing with Alright, I've got two guards left. We've got the MIB the guy in the chair. Whoever's out there, give yourself up. Contact. Intruder, I'm dealing with. Shh. Wait for him to move again. Taking fire here. Are they immune to gas grenades? I was certain I heard something. He's here. Oh, oh. They most certainly are not. That's what I needed. For some reason, I was operating under the clearly wrong assumption that like commandos, the MIBs were immune to gas grenades, but they are not. So he's got an assault rifle, a knife, and an EMP grenade. I'll take the grenade and leave the rest. This one's got a key and a plasma rifle. The room has a med kit, pistol ammo, and another garage door key, and here is Tiffany Savage. Your father sent me. You alright? They caught me at the submarine base trying to steal one of their mini-subs. You really think there's a containment unit in the Ocean Lab? All we need is a schematic, as long as the main computer isn't waterlogged. We'll talk about that later. Come on, let's go. I'm not going back to that base. You want to check it out? Great. Here's a map that shows a back way into the sub-base. I'll check it out. First, let's get you out of here. Make a break for the helicopter. It's in the junkyard. Got it. We've taken out the guards. So our new goal is return to the helicopter in the junkyard. Let's do it. Are you sure it's safe? Let's go. What 
watch out for guards. I'm glad my father didn't cave in. I hope you know what you're doing. The sub base is well guarded. I found out the hard way. We need to mount another expedition to the Ocean Lab before MJ-12 salvages the UC themselves. I hope you know what you're doing. Alright. Let's spend one lock pick and check out this truck trailer. We've got... the gas grenade. med kit, and a silencer. I'll trade a lockpick for a gas grenade. That's worthwhile. Let's check out this other little building now. Make sure there's nothing outside. We got money. 250 credits. Three lock picks in order to get to the repair bot. That's certainly not worth it, but I'm not certain whether or not there's anything else back here, so we'll quick save and we'll check. A bioelectric cell, a repair bot, and that's it. No, thank you. All right, let's get out of here. Good, you both made it. Dr. Savage will be relieved. Can you take her back to Vandenberg while I check out the submarine base? I'm gonna make another try to reach the Ocean Labs, you see. Sure, I'll drop you off on the way. rather. Steal a mini-sub from the URV module, submerged just offshore, then take it to the Ocean Lab. And, from the recently damaged MJ-12 Ocean Lab, recover the schematic Gary Savage needs to complete a universal constructor. Here's an image of the Vandenberg sub-base that Tiffany gave us. Entrance to main building. Guards, guards, module 1, module 2, URV bay, waters patrolled by divers. There's an underwater entrance to Module 1, which we've got an arrow pointing out. This is the MJ-12 sub-base at the SoCal Seawall, but that is enough for today. I'm going to call that a video, so I will update all of my saves, and I will thank you all for watching. This has been Let's Play Deus Ex. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.